Well, my father was a doctor and he took care of cancer patients. I have vivid childhood memories of watching him interact with patients and he had a way of being very compassionate and putting patients at ease. And so I knew from an early stage that I wanted to follow in his footsteps. Fortunate enough to have him alongside me during this journey to, to guide me along the way. Well, I've always followed a certain motto, and that's that the needs of the patient come first. My goal is to provide a non-intimidating, satisfying experience where patients feel like they're being heard, that their concerns are taken seriously, and that all their questions are answered. Because after all, cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death in the United States. And much of heart disease is preventable. It's only preventable though if you take the right steps and take the right action and take it early on. So we diagnose and treat many heart conditions from the common ones to the more rare and everything in between. Some symptoms to be aware of are any pain or discomfort in the chest, any troubled breathing, feeling as if your heart's racing or palpitations or passing out. These are just to name a few. What's important to know is that for certain populations, specifically women and the elderly, they may not have the typical uh, features of heart problems. For example, they could experience excessive fatigue. What's important to know is that you don't want to ignore symptoms. Far too often I see people attribute things to indigestion or anxiety or stress or even just getting old or out of shape. When it comes to the heart, the stakes are too high to ignore the warning signs. I'm excited to serve this community because I feel like I can give back and make a positive impact on people's lives. I grew up in Southeast Michigan. I went to school here. I understand that this community is hardworking and dedicated, and they face certain struggles. And I know that those struggles can have an impact on people's health. And so I look forward to many, many more years of serving this community to the best of my ability and with compassion, just like my dad did and just like he taught me to do. I often hear from patients that I wish my doctors would just talk to one another. It can be quite frustrating to feel that your care is disjointed or not comprehensive. And so I pride myself on being open and to communication with other providers and collaboration. After every visit, the other physicians will receive a written report updating them on your progress and the treatment plan. I think care is best delivered when all the clinicians are on the same page working toward the same goal, which of course is to improve a patient's health.